I got a comment this week asking if I could do a tutorial on a gold coin, and I was like, yeah, I can do that, but I can actually do one better. I can show you guys how to take this gold coin illustration and turn it into an animation. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, I'm in Adobe Illustrator. I've got a blank 10 by 10 canvas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by using the ellipse tool. You'll find that on the toolbar on the left, and we're just gonna draw a big circle Essentially, that's all a coin is, right? It's just a big circle. So I'm going to align this in the middle. We'll make sure we get our purple bars. And I think I'm going to start this with just some fill, like a gold. And I'm actually going to turn off the stroke for this. Most of my illustrations have a stroke, but I think for this one, it'll create more of that depth and look of like 3D-ness if I don't use stroke. So we'll see how that goes. So this is looking good. We'll take this and I'm going to click this plus right here. That's duplicate. I'll grab my little shift button down here and I'll just shrink this. Again, we're just going to align this in the middle. We'll get those purple bars. Let's shrink this a little bit more. And I'm going to make this darker right here. So it's going to be like more of an orange. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm just going to tap right here. I'll double click this and I'm going to get my keyboard to pop up. We'll grab the little S money tool and we'll just drag that over to the coin onto the center. So let's get this lined up in the middle. So now what I'm gonna do is I wanna make it a little bit more unique. So I'll come over here to my type tool and I'll click outline text. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna convert that text into points. And then I can come with like my direct selection tool and I can round things off. This will just make it look a lot more unique to this. It won't look so much like a font, which is, which is fine, I guess, but it just looks a little bit more unpolished, I guess, when it looks like that. And I want it to look more like an illustration. So that's why we're going to do that. Now we're going to make this the color of this right here. And I mean, honestly, you've seen really simple designs out in the world, right? So this is essentially a coin already, but it's not exactly where I want to take it. I want to give it a lot more life. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a lot of more little things uh, that kind of make it look nice. All right. So I found four colors here that I like. So I'm going to use these to color in this shape. All right, so this is looking good. I want to add a little bit more depth. So I'm going to take this shape right here. I'm going to duplicate it. I'll take it over here, duplicate it again. And I'm just going to move it ever so slightly. I'm going to grab both of these, come to my Pathfinder tool, minus front, convert to path. And I'm going to put it back where it goes. But this time I'm going to change the color to this darker gold right here. And I'll align this. Now it gives us like a little bit of bevel right here which is what I want. The more I look at this though, I think that bevel should be on the bottom right hand corner. So I'm just gonna rotate this. I'm gonna throw it down here. I think that makes more sense. I'm gonna have the light source coming from the top onto the bottom. All right, the more I look at that, the more I actually want that to be a little bit bigger and a little bit more pronounced. So I'm going to just two finger tap. That will make it go back. I'm gonna move this just a little bit. I wanna get this situated where I want it. I think that looks good right there. Yeah, we're just gonna pathfind it again. Minus front. Convert to path. Let's change the color of this to that darker gold. And now it gives us a lot more depth. All right, what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to add a background layer. So add a new layer, throw it in the back. I'm gonna grab a rectangle. Start from the top left, drag to the bottom right. And again, this is gonna help my eyes. It's gonna give it a little bit more separation from the canvas, which is what I'm what I'm going for. And once I get that where I want it, I'm just gonna lock it because I don't want to accidentally mess with that layer. So now I want to get some highlights. So I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool. I'm gonna draw one shape like this. I'm gonna change the color to this like lighter gold right here. I'm going to take this, duplicate it, drag it down. And we're just gonna align them to the coin like this, perfect. And I'm actually gonna duplicate this one more time. So take this, drag it down here. I'm gonna make this a little bit thinner. So now we'll take all three of these, grab them, hold the shift tool, and I'm gonna grab this outer shell, go to my pathfinder and shape builder, and now we'll just come and we'll slice off the ends that we don't want. All right, now take these highlights right here. We're just gonna grab them one more time, and this time we're gonna grab this inner circle, go back to the pathfinder tool, shape builder, and this time we're going to click the inside. So this made it look funky and don't worry about that. We'll grab this. We'll grab all these little pieces right here and we're just going to combine them all, convert to path, throw that behind. And now you see our color change. That's all right. We want this back to this orange color. We need to go one more behind. Perfect. So now we got these highlights right here and we've got the coin. It should be looking like we've got some depth, right? All right. We want to continue looking like we have some depth here. So we'll take the S and we'll duplicate this. We'll move it to the bottom right just a little bit change this color to this dark gold. 
move that to the back and we're just going to adjust it just a touch now it should look like the s is kind of pulling out of the coin all right so i want to add a little bit of a shadow so i'm going to take my pencil tool and i'm just going to draw a little shadow like this again we're going to use the pathfinder tool so grab these layers shape builder we're going to change this layer to like a black and i'm just going to drop the opacity and that'll give the look of a shadow now I don't actually like the look of this on the whole thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my shape builder and I'm just going to cut the outside of it. So now we have the shadow just on the inside of the coin. I'm actually going to move that all the way to the back. All right, so we got this coin looking good. I like where this is at, super simple, easy to accomplish. But what we can do is we can actually have a lot more fun with this. So I'm going to group this and I'm gonna duplicate it. So we've got another coin here. Let's take this and shrink it. And we'll just put this here for now. So now what we can do, which is really fun, is I can take this, I'm actually going to ungroup it, and now we can kind of smush it a little bit, and you'll see we can start adding some depth. So I'm going to grab this outside right here, duplicate it. Now I can just move it to the left, and I can make it this dark color, throw it in the background. Or we're just going to keep moving that out. And now you see we have a little bit more depth. It looks like it's kind of moved on its axis, and we've got this uh, lip of the coin. So something cool we can do is we can take this rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw this out. This is going to be this darker uh, gold right here. We're going to take this all the way down here. We'll come over here and we'll click blend. And we'll just adjust how much of a blend we want that to be. Now we can take this little grid we've made and we can expand it. Now we have all of these lines right here that we can use. We're going to shrink this a little bit. We want to make sure it fits this. I'm going to group it again. I'm going to grab these both of these layers. I'm going to come to my Pathfinder tool, Shape Builder, and I'm just going to cut off what I don't need. Now I can take this, throw it to the background, grab my Eraser tool, erase what I don't need right here. We've got a lot of texture on the side. So now it gives it that 3D look, right? Which is really cool. So we're going to take this, we're going to duplicate it, perfect, we'll take this guy, group it, we're just going to shrink this, put it over here with this frame. Now we're going to take this, we're going to do it again. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this outside, I'm going to move this over here, I'll group that, and then I'll take this main coin, and I'm just going to stretch it one more time. Alright, now we're going to take this little guy, we're going to throw it right here. This time I want to see a lot more of that edge, right? So I'm going to grab my eraser tool, and I'm just going to erase what I don't need. So I'll erase this. There's definitely better ways to do this, but just for time and effort, I'm just going to erase that. That'll take care of what we don't need. All right, now it looks like the coin is a lot more 3D, which is great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. I'm going to duplicate it, grab this, group it. I'm going to throw it right over here with all these other guys. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I want this to be the same color as the edge that we've been using. I'm going to roll the edges just a touch, just to give it a little bit of that stylization. I'm actually going to take these right here. I'm going to throw this on top. I'm going to put this directly in the middle. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to do my Pathfinder tool, do Shape Builder. And I'm just going to really cut all these off that I don't need. So I can get rid of this. Now this will be the edge of the coin. I can group this. And again, we're just going to shrink it, put it in line with these other guys. So I've got all four of these coins here. What I want to do is I want to make sure they're all the same height and width. So if I come over here to height, I can come to my properties. I see the height is 2.84. So I want to make sure that this height is 2.84. So now everything should be the same height. So I can take all of these, hold my shift. I'm actually going to align these to the bottom. So I'll come to my alignment tool, align to bottom. Distribute the space evenly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these three. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to drag over here. And I'm going to flip. So we'll come over to my uh, aligned. And we'll flip this. Now I'm going to grab everything. And I'm going to align to the bottom again and distribute evenly. And I want to make sure this fits in my canvas. So now I've got the whole progression of a coin flipping. And I'll show you why this is cool. So I'm going to actually export these and I'm going to throw them into Procreate and I'll show you exactly why we did this. I've got Procreate loaded up. What I want to make sure to do first is go to my canvas and turn on animation assist. That'll give me this little bar down here. That's where I'm going to be able to make this animation. I'm going to add a frame. So I think I need seven total frames. So I'm going to add that. So I've got seven frames here and that'll make seven layers. We'll start with layer one. So what I've done already is exported each individual coin. So I'll come over here to my little wrench icon, go to add, 
insert a file and I have all my coins here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start inserting them. So we'll start with the flat coin. Perfect. Now I'm gonna come to frame two and I've got my onion skin on. So it's just the previous layer. That's what it's showing. And I'm just gonna insert all of my coins. I've got all six loaded. I actually lied. I don't need a seventh frame because we wanted to jump back to the first frame. So we're going to delete this. And so now I have all of my frames in here. So it's as simple as this. I come over here to play. And you see we already got the 360 rotation, which is pretty mind-blowing, honestly. And we can come to settings and I can increase this so I can make it spin really fast or I can get it to go really slow. Six frames per second. I like it somewhere like 12 frames per second. I think that's nice and smooth. And so this is cool, right? But I want a background color. So this is just basic procreate stuff here. I can take my background and I can change the color. So I think that looks nice. But you're like, this is really small. I want to increase it. You can come over here. I can grab all of my layers and I can grab my selection tool and I can just increase this. So I think that looks good. I can come back over here to play and I've got my animation right here. So that's all it is guys. We've already done all the hard work in Adobe Illustrator. Now we're just essentially creating a digital flipbook that's going to spin this. If you guys followed along, I'd love to see what you made. Make sure to send me a message or tag me on Instagram. Well guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you found this helpful. If you liked the video, you already know what to do. Until the next time, peace.